Hey everyone, how's it going? Virik here. Uh, I went ahead and made a Ranger. I was looking at a few posts and whatnot online, and there is a fellow Ranger who uh, was into bow kiting. His name is Ivory. I'm sure you heard of him. Shout out to Ivory for uh, the inspiration to start a Ranger. But um, just wanted to show you kind of what I'm doing. Um, right now, I took a break from my wizard, uh, got a little burned out, he is level 51 at the moment, um, so one of these days I'll make another video showing my quadding spot where I went, um, but just want to go ahead and show you a little bit of the ranger, this is a bow kiting ranger that I made, um, I'll tell you my leveling progression so far. I'm 15 right now, almost 16. Um, but from 1 to 9, I cheesed it and, and bone chipped it because I just wanted to get snare. So it took about uh, four bags, four eight slot bags of bone chips to get to like nine. It, it was like it was like nine and a half or whatever. But um, from nine, I went into steam front and um, killed stuff around there for a while up until about um 12 and then 12 i stayed in steam front at at the minotaurs um there's a minotaur camp there that I, was really really good that that bumped me up to 15 and 15 i am here so um very interesting class so far with bow kiting um with the rangers some things that i'm i really really like about them is the spells that they get i like that they get some pretty cool buffs they get sow they get some direct damage spells um they get root and snare and invis and levitate i, I mean it's i really like the that that like uh the utility of the um class but um I wanted to go over a few things first with my keybinds and whatnot. Um, essentially, if you see down here, um, I have these bound to right and left. So, you know, when I'm moving, it'll go sense heading, and then my right is tracking. The reason why I have it for tracking is so that I, I can keep up my tracking skill. And I always like to have my, I like, I'm, I'm pretty much spoiled on this tracking window now. I, I really dig it. It's um, it's really nice to just be able to track um, stuff around and not have to search around all over the place trying to find stuff to, to um, kill. Um, and then I have my ranged attack um, bound to E. So while I'm running around kiting, I just press E and I shoot. R is bound to bind wound, which I actually don't use that much because I don't get hit. Um... So if you're a new ranger, I suggest you bind these. And even if you don't want your tracking window up, I, I suggest you still keep it bound and then just grab it and like stick it down here some more so it always keeps up on your tracking skill. So you're not like, you know, gain a bunch of levels and your track's really low. But I like to keep mine up because I like to see what's going on and what is around me. Um wanna go over my gear first. Um I guess I'm like semi twinked kind of. Um, I do have a decent bow that I got. I got the this one was I got a really good deal. There was a nice guy. He hooked me up with a fleeting quiver and this bow for like three thousand plat, which the bow alone is worth that. So I don't remember your name, but whoever it was, thanks. Um, so those are my two most expensive items then i did get another haste um these silver chip and hammer wraps were like 12 or 1300 i don't remember what i paid for them and then other than that it's just kind of random crappy stuff um so there, there's nothing special uh with my other gear but my bow and this fleeting quiver whew, this is a pain to get this is that, that that was pretty hard to find and what the fleeting quiver does is it gives you haste based up on the weight reduction. I don't know how much it is, but um, I think it gives me 20% haste, and that stacks, bow haste by the way, and that stacks with um, the silver chit and hand wraps, which are 22% haste. Whoa, 
What's going on here? There's a freaking sand giant running by. Um, so those are really nice to have um, it, if you have the plat. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of following a list that I wrote out. Um, so what affects bow damage? I don't know. I The wiki says strength. I'm sorry, the wiki says dex, but a lot of stuff that I read says strength. Now, my max bow hit is 32, and that's with 117 strength. Now, I've taken off all of my gear where I, you know, I just have my base strength, which I think is like 90 or whatever, and I still get the maximum of 32 hit. So, I don't, I don't know if bows have a damage cap like the, um like the weapons do but i mean from level one i was hitting for 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 max of 32 which is pretty cool um so i don't know what affects the bow damage i don't know so if anybody knows post it down below that would be great um one thing that was very interesting to me was dex oh, i didn't show my weapon because i wanted to show an example so if you look at my attack power it's 147. Now this is adds 20 decks. Now watch how much, and I don't know why this is because maybe I just don't know the mechanics very good. But watch when I put this on, it bumps up to 362. So that's 215 attack power. And I mean, strength it doesn't give me that much attack power. I can take off all my gear and it only drops by a little bit, but. The decks, I mean, if I take this glowing sword off, I mean, that drops down by 215 attack power, which is quite a bit. And um, I actually read about attack power and studied up on it. And what it does is affects your chance to get max hits of, of whatever your damage cap is. So my damage cap right now is 32. That's all I've ever hit for. And... Um, the more attack power you have, the more chance you have to get up to that amount, if I understand it right, which is pretty cool. Now, one interesting thing is, was at level 14, I got two hits, which I, I screenshotted them. I got two hits um, at 33, which I've never hit for 32, so I don't know why. I didn't have any buffs. There was nothing. I don't know why. I got two hits of 33, which was fairly interesting. So I thought it was maybe, well, maybe the the ratio, the, like, damage and the ratio of the weapon affects your attack power, but I don't think so because here is just whatever, a crappy one that I looted off something and I can put it on, and that does no effect. So I, I believe it's just off stats, but then I put that on and it bumps up to 215 with, with that 20 dex, which is pretty interesting. I... If anybody can point me the, the right way on that, of, of does dex instead of increasing your maximum damage like it should, I guess, uh, according to people from um, who played on Classic, um, it seems like it greatly affects your attack power, like way more so than, than strength. Um, so, I don't know. I'll tell you one thing I do like so far about bow kiting is um, at 12 I started to crit and eventually I'll get procs. Now from what I understand, crits and procs are based up off of decks. So the more decks that I have, the more chance I, I have of getting crits and procs, which I really like. I I like that that RNG style of of getting a regular hit or you know can proc or get crits. So. When I did hit 12, I started procking, or I'm sorry, I started getting crits, and my max crit is 62 that I get, which is which is really fun. Um, another thing that I do have is Gina that tracks my snare for when I snare something to know how much time and if I need to refresh. And I also have a little thing that pops up if I get a crit hit that will say critical hit because it's uh, I think that's quite fun to to see pop up on my screen but um one thing about bow kiting so far which i've read so much negative stuff on it i so far which i'm only 15 it might change and it might get really crappy higher level i don't know but i really like it i don't get hit i can i i can go non-stop um for 
pretty much with no downtime except for when I get low on mana to med. And the, the medding is so quick because I only have 325 mana, so I can med for 2 or 3 minutes and be back up to full. But um, it's very RNG. I've had some mobs where I hit every time. I get, I mean, max hits and crits and just tear it apart. And there's some times where I miss four, five times in a row and then get a hit for two and then miss three times and then get a hit for six. So that is kind of frustrating, but again, I like the RNG. I think it's really fun. And then I also had times where I've gotten three crits for freaking 62. Crit, 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 like all in a row and just tear apart the uh, mob. Um, and, uh, of course, there's arrows, about having enough arrows. Um, right now, I'm doing about a level and a half um, with the amount of bag space that I do have, which I, I fill up my quiver, and I fill up about um, five bags of arrows. So that is one bummer thing, because if you're not buying an arrow vendor, then you're going to have to go back and restock. But... I mean, I, I, I assume that that's with every class where you have to go back and restock on something. Like, for instance, mages, you got to go get regs to summon your pets, or you got to go restock on bandages or whatever else. So, I mean, you know, every class has got to go through that. Um, at 45, we'll get the bracers to, if I make it that far, the bracers to summon arrows. And that's going to be uh, very, very exciting, I think. But, um,. I'm going to go ahead and do a pull or two and kind of give an example of what it's like. Um, and uh, yeah, as I said, it's very RNG based, so I could tear apart a mob or I could freaking miss like 50 times in a row. So I, I start off with a snare. If he's. Oh, no, we can't see him. Start off with a snare. And then right as I snare, I shoot, and I just, I love bow kiting. I can, like, just shoot on the run, and I, I don't have to stop and do anything. Like, there's a hit for 15, and then I usually flame lick, but, line of sight. I flame lick, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but, I mean, it does decrease the AC, so, I don't know. I kind of like it. And then, um, with the orcs, I kind of pull them along here, the only thing that... I really have to watch for is a skeleton but as you can see I have my timer going up here so I know how much is is um, um, how much time I have left um, one thing I do would like to mention is to keep my stuff um, my other skills maxed I will from time to time I will melee them um, down when they get low to keep my weapon skill up and my defense it's like a 51 it's kind of lacking i really need to um work on my defense more because i don't want to get up you know high level and then have like 10 defense that'll be a bummer but as you can see it's very rng i, I mean i just missed you know three times in a row but i mean i like it i don't ever get hit now he's still snared he's running right now so now i'm just going to go up and finish him off with my sword to keep my weapon skill up which it's uh, it's maxed i do this every time so i keep it maxed and as i said the only thing that i'm lacking on a defense and dodge and stuff like that but um um one thing i am noticing is like he cons even to me and I can pull them and kill them easily, but the higher they are, the more I miss. And, you know, so I like to hunt stuff that's lower level than me, so I have more of a chance of hitting and whatnot. So, yeah. I'll, so I'll do a few more pulls and show some examples, so I'm not just, you know, showing one. And with these guys, he's white too. I don't want to pull a white one. Make me look bad. There's one. If you are going to hunt these orcs, watch out for the freaking casters because they can tear you apart. Uh oh, now I'm going to probably pull that one. Nope, oh, I just pulled three. That's not good. So, let's see how I do on this. Let's see. I did this earlier. And as I said, it's one thing that I really like about the, um, the ranger is that. 
You got so much cool stuff. Tools like roots and snares and everything else. Now I'm going to go ahead and root them up. I'm going to get them snared so I won't have too much of a problem, hopefully. Now, with the root, since I don't have zero wisdom, um, I run out of mana quick with stuff like this. Now, if I'm just doing one at a time like I should should be doing, it's uh, a whole lot easier. So this could turn out good, or this could turn out, see, it's got a crit for 62, that's right, boo. And then this is when, like, I pray for the RNG to, you know, to RNG gods to be with me. Yeah. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm already getting low on mana, which is not good. Oh man, this is not good at all. Now one thing I like about the bow is, I just got a crit, is you don't have to like face the mob the whole time. I can just turn real quick and shoot. See now he's running, so I'll leave him be for a minute. Uh -oh. ah. But like stuff like this, it's fun. I like it. I think it's really fun. So now like this guy, I can still run and shoot. It's freaking awesome. He's gonna run in the water, so I'm gonna leave him. And when he gets about 20, he'll come back to me. And we'll work on this guy for a little bit. Now if I run out of mana, then it's going to be a bummer. And my whole video is ruined. I'll start all the way from the beginning. And this is when I pray. Oh, wow. Okay, he's an orc warrior. He is red. <laughs> this is not good. This is not a good thing. I'm surprised I even landed a freaking snare on him. Ugh. My whole video is about to be ruined. Well, shit. Yeah, it's fun trying anyways. Ugh, my gosh. But yeah, um, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Low on mana. I got the other one charging for me now. Oh, I do have Spirit of Wolf. Somebody got me Spirit of Wolf. What a nice fellows. That he's red. I mean, he's just. I'm just gonna miss a ton. I mean, if I have Spirit of Wolf, I don't even. I won't even snare. Can't wait to get furry and actually get Spirit of Wolf. gonna be nice but see as you can see like I don't I don't even have to like stop you don't all you have to do is just face him for a second and the arrow goes off now one thing about the arrow is they are bolts so if stuff is blocking the bolts um, it will hit the object instead of your target which I haven't God, I oh shoot, I don't want to pull that guy too. I haven't had that happen too much. Usually it flies through trees and goes through mountains and stuff. Um, my soda drops, this is just going to be a sad day. 
Ooh, we've got a crit. So I hope my sew stays up. I don't even know I got it. It must have been or before I started the video. Hopefully this video is not too long and people are actually going to enjoy the madness of the ranger. But this was fun to me. I, I hope this keep, keeps up like this at higher levels, you know. Because as soon as I got snare, I mean, I, I, it, it it's just been nonstop, very little downtime. Just gotta watch out for freaking casual, so I don't see, see, I don't see him on track. It's another reason why. Ooh, he's almost dead. A, yeah. So if you're ever over here, watch out for a orc warrior because he's much higher level. And then that guy is almost dead. And that's the one who was running. So now if you watch, I'll come down. No, oh, oh, that's a bad example. I was going to come down so I don't have line of sight through the mountains and it still shoots through it. Thirty-two. Yeah, I don't. I, I would really like to know what affects bow damage, or if there's a cap, and then when I hit twenty, it lifts off of bows, like as well as it does with melee. Oh, I got a crit for. What did I crit for thirty-five. Now I'm down to one. I'm gonna crit for forty-nine. I just, I love that. I love the crits. I can't wait to start rocking. It's just, it, it's so much fun. All right, I'm gonna. Throwing a snare here. Oh, there we go. I accidentally pulled three. One was red. Now I will admit, without so, it would have been pretty tough. There's another crit for freaking 54. Take that. It would have been rough without so. I mean, if I could have had enough mana, I could have done it, but I was getting low. Um, one other tip if things do go bad and that does happen, um, you can root and then camp out, which I learned that on my wizard. Somebody, I was like, hey, have you ever thought about, you know, on a bad pull and you pull, instead of four, you pull five or you pull six on accident. So now watch, I'll, I'll shoot him through this tree. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll, um, no, man, he's going to stop. Like some things my arrows will fly through, and sometimes, sometimes, or some things they uh, don't. Die, fool. There we go. That it was, and that's that. That that's much more fun than than quaddy. Even though I, I mean, I, I liked it, but that's um, that's that's really fun, and I got a lot of experience off that. I'm almost about to level. But, yeah, I mean, Crypt, let me, what is he, blue? Oh, I might as well kill him, too, while I'm at it. But, as you can see, it's very RNG with the misses. I mean, sometimes I'll crit three times on the same mob. But as I said a little bit earlier, I've crit, like, three times in a row before and just wrecked, I just wrecked mobs. But like on this, I missed twice. Now I got a nice caught freaking four hits for 30. But maybe it changes the higher level. Maybe it gets really crappy, and the I, I know that the mobs hit points go way up, and I don't know how well that the bow damage scales. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions or comments, um, somebody did mention on my last video that the it was really dark, um, and I think that was because I turned my in-game gamma up really high because on my Eurydite wizard, uh, on my Eurydite wizard, they have no natural night vision, so that's one way to get around it. Well, for some reason, OBS it doesn't capture that that uh, gamma. It just um, it keeps it as if I didn't have the gamma up at all, which is kind of interesting. But, yeah, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as I move around, if I stick with this, 
which I, I really like it. I think I'm going to. Um, I'll record more, I mean, if everybody wants to see more, because um, there's a lot of naysayers with the Bow Rangers, and again, shout out to Ivory for, um, for giving me the inspiration to... Uh, to make a good old bow ranger because I'm really enjoying it and there's way better bows out there to progress and a lot better gear I can go and get and uh, yeah anyways you guys have a great day thanks